Welcome back to another episode of NFL Predictions. Last time we did week 11, and today we'll be doing week number 12. Now, before I get in, I do guys want to say I'm really sorry for uploading this late. It's just a busy time of year. Hopefully, though, pretty soon, and I'll probably say in about three to four weeks, uh, I'll be less busy and things will be better. So, sorry for getting this out late. Um, but anyways... Let's talk about week 11 real quick. On my predictions, I went 9 out of 14. I got some ones wrong, but this was a crazy week. It started off that whole Steelers-Browns debacle on Thursday night. We had the Ravens decimate the Texans. We had a fun game in Mexico City with the Chiefs win. We had the Vikings come back and win. We had the Falcons win two in a row. We had the 49ers come back and win at the last second. It was a very fun week, so here we go with week 12. Now, as I said, this is up late, so... The Texans-Colts game already happened. Um, before that, I thought Houston was going to win. I'm going to just not predict that because um, I, I, I didn't do it in time. So that was a really good game. I thought it was a fun, enjoyable game to watch. But let's talk about the games that have not happened yet. Starting with this AFC North do with the Steelers and the Bengals. I think the Steelers are going to go, and I think the Bengals are going to go 0-11. I think that the Bengals are the worst team in the NFL, and yes, the Steelers lost, and all that stuff, but I think that there are at least, they have some good defensive players and some good offensive players with Juju Smith-Schuster, James Conner. Broncos, Bills, I think the Bills are going to win. Um, I know that the Broncos were beating the Vikings, I know they lost, and they looked good at points in the Minnesota game, but I just believe Buffalo is a playoff team, and I really like their defense and their offense. I think this will be a very low-scoring game, but I have Buffalo winning. I'm going to go with the Dolphins over the Browns. This is kind of my upset of the week, I guess you could say. Um, and Miami just looks good. And I uh, Cleveland won, but they just seem very undisciplined. They just seem very messy. Yes, Miami is not that great of a team, but I really like the organization and their coaching. And I'm going to take them and kind of get a bit of an upset win. Uh, Raiders, Jets. Raiders looks like they're one of the best teams. Um, in the AFC, as terms of a wild card, I think either Buffalo or Oakland or... India or India or India or Houston will be getting the wild card. So I think Raiders are definitely top six team in AFC. I really like how the draft classes are really kind of playing Hunter Renfro. Max Crosby's been insane. Josh Jacobs. A lot of great picks from Mike Mayock and the crew. Turning out really good for Oakland. And then we have the Jaguars and Titans as a final AFC game here. I'm going to go with the Jaguars. Um, I think that they're... Just the better team here if Nick Foles back. I know they lost, but you know Nick Foles back, another game in the system. I think they'll win. We have two AFC versus NFC games, but I think that they're probably two of the most entertaining uh, games here this week. We have the Cowboys and the Patriots. For me, I'm super excited for this matchup. You have America's team versus kind of America's other team. The old dynasty versus the new dynasty. Dak Prescott or Murray Cooper in that offense against the great Patriots defense. For me, I, I think this is going to be a really fantastic game. I'm going to go with New England, though, over Dallas. I just think I like their defense a lot better, and I like their coaching staff a lot more than I like Dallas's. I think it will be a close game, but I got New England like 30-24. to 24. I think it will be close, but I think the Patriots will win. And then Baltimore Ravens against the Los Angeles Rams on Monday Night Football. Man, I'm going to go with the Ravens. I love the way Lamar Jackson has been playing. Of course, as a Ravens fan, it makes me extremely happy. And the Rams offense doesn't look that great. They seem to be struggling this year. So I got Baltimore winning. I think it will be a fun, entertaining game. But I think the Ravens will win by at least two scores. Now we have some NFC games. The Giants-Bears, two classic teams. I'm going to go with New York. I've not been impressed that much with Mitchell Trubisky and the Bears this season. Daniel Jones and the Giants, yeah, they're not that great of a team record-wise, but I've seen some good stuff from Daniel Jones. He just really has to protect the football more in terms of fumbles, but I think the Giants win. Buccaneers-Falcons, regardless of who wins, I think this will be a very entertaining game. Two high-scoring teams, you have Julio Jones, Calvin Ridley for Atlanta, and then uh, Chris Godwin and Mike Evans. Um, I'm gonna go with Atlanta. Uh, they're on a roll. They've run two games and uh, two games in a row, and I think they'll win their fourth game on the season here in a very close game that I could see going into overtime. Lions, Redskins. I'm gonna go with Detroit. I think they're a lot better than three, six, and one. They just have had trouble with their run game and defense, but I think their defense will do pretty well against the rookie Dwayne Haskins. 
And I think the offense will get it done. Kenny Galladay's had a pretty nice season. So I am the Lions winning. Panthers Saints. Man, the Panthers look like they'll be one of the best teams in the NFC. But then Kyle Allen defense has started to kind of figure them out. I'm going to go with the Saints. In my opinion, they're one of the best teams in the NFC. I think top three along with, or top four along with the Packers, Niners, and Seattle. Speaking of which, that's the games we have left. So we have Green Bay and San Francisco here. Which is actually the Sunday night game. The NFL, this was originally going to be Sunday night Seahawks and Eagles. But they flexed it a couple weeks ago. So this is the Sunday night game. Green Bay and San Francisco. Packers 49ers. Aaron Rodgers, Devontae Adams against that defense. Man, this is going to be an incredible game. Who I think is going to win? I honestly, this is really tough. For me, I think it will be a classic scenario where Green Bay and Aaron Rodgers are going to come in pulled out and get the win in a very classic fashion. I think it'll be an extremely close game, but I think Aaron Rodgers will do it. He's proved he's proven it time and time before to get the win in clutch scenarios. Seahawks Eagles here. Um this is a morning game, but I think Seattle will win. The Eagles offense just isn't clicking in the defense. I don't think we'll be able to hold up. And I think Russell Wilson is having a very MVP like caliber season. Then teams with the bye week this week are the Cardinals, Vikings, Chargers, and Chiefs. So let me know you guys who you think is going to win. Sorry for getting this out late, but hope you enjoyed the week of football. And hopefully, guys, I'll see you next week a bit earlier, earlier than Sunday. But until then, this is my time I'm going to love. Bye-bye.